Today is the 1st of April, uh, and I'm in Addis Ababa. We are about to start the 13th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation, uh, which is going to be for the next five days, from the 1st to the 4th of April. And the theme for this year is on climate finance, adaptation technology, and uh, policy engagement. We'll be running these three themes together. And we hope to have outcomes from the 13th conference, although this is the 15th year we've been doing them. Uh, the first three were done two years apart, and after that it became an annual event. Uh, and we hope to come out with uh, recommendations that can go to the climate summit that the UN Secretary General is uh, having in New York in September, uh, and particularly through the Global Co Commission on Adaptation that has been set up with Mr. Ban Ki-moon, Bill Gates, and Kristalina Georgieva from the World Bank, who are preparing a major international global uh, report on adaptation in which we are going to be putting inputs, particularly from the community-based level with the community of practice that has developed in many developing countries and even in developed countries who are going to be here. We expect several hundred participants to be with us for the next few days. A lot of discussions and hopefully some very solid recommendations on how further support can be given to the work that the vulnerable communities are already doing to help themselves, but not receiving sufficient help from the global level to help them. We hope we can improve that situation with the Climate Summit uh, in September, followed up by the COP25, which will be in Chile in Santiago in December, where IID holds uh, an annual event called Development and Climate Days. We are trying to link the CBA conference, which is on community-based adaptation, with the COP uh, meeting, Development Climate Days, and get the message there as well. So from the next few years, we're hoping to be more strategic with these conferences and have some outcomes that we can continue to take forward, and particularly in support of the most vulnerable communities to enable them to adapt to the impacts of climate change.